Hello and welcome to a Community Voice Short. I'm your host, Katie Roach, here at the City Channel 4 studio. On today's show, I'll be speaking with Shannon Wagner, Vice President for Community Affairs for Mecca Services. Mecca is celebrating their 40th anniversary this year and has just received a large grant to provide disaster relief funding for substance abuse treatment and prevention. I'll be back with Shannon in a moment. Iowa City nonprofits do great work in our community. Nonprofits organize cultural activities, work to improve our community through service organizations and charities, and they provide vital services that keep our community informed, healthy, and connected. Each month at City Channel 4, we present a local notable nonprofit for Channel 4 viewers to learn more about. Watch City Channel 4's original program, The Mayor's Monthly Notable Nonprofit, to learn more. Well, Shannon, thank you so much for joining me here today. Hi, it's nice to be here. So before we talk about the grant from the Iowa Department of Public Health, let's just have a brief overview of, of MECA and the services that MECA offers. Sure. MECA is a comprehensive behavioral health service organization. We are a not-for-profit, and we're kind of headquartered here in Iowa City, but we do have offices throughout the state. And we provide a broad range of programs uh, from substance abuse to mental health, uh, gambling prevention and treatment, as well as HIV and AIDS work. Mecca is celebrating their 40th yes. anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, we are 40 years old this year. And we've had some fun events this year. We had an open house here in Iowa City um, with Dick Myers, who came and was our guest speaker. And it was a really neat afternoon, a nice way to celebrate kind of our, our grassroots start all the way to where we're at now. Um, we've had all staff picnics for our staff, trivia contests, just a lot of fun things this year, um, just to celebrate our mission and, and 40 years of service. Now, this grant, this mm -hmm. so the grant is from the Iowa Department of Public Health. Yes. And can you explain, so stress, the floods, substance abuse, how those three things end up? working together. Sure, sure. Well, as everybody remembers all too well, the flooding of 2008 really had a huge impact on all of us, whether um, we were individually affected, our businesses were affected, um, family, friends, whomever, it was impactful. It was a very stressful time for our community. And one of the things we know at Mecca is that stress is a major trigger for substance use. It could be a way to deal with problems, kind of a quick, immediate fix, if people are, are stressed out from um, the aftermath of the flood, drinking or using drugs can seem like kind of a quick escape. Uh, for people that are in recovery and have been sober for a long time, it can also be a trigger to relapse. Mm -hmm. um, so we knew that with our community experiencing this additional level of stress, that we may be seeing uh, more folks coming in needing services down the road. And Iowa Department of Public Health um, was attentive to this and aware of this and when some federal funding became available they passed that along to the local agencies and that's how we got this extra money to help provide additional prevention and treatment services in our area. So, so you have you in fact seen more people through the doors? We, we haven't seen more people because we're always kind of at max capacity so it isn't that the number of people is more that still remains very high but the number of clients that come in and are reporting or are able to kind of trace back some of their stress and substance use to the flooding, that has definitely increased. And it, it's been, like I said, you know, 2008, it's been some time, so sometimes people aren't really able to even connect mm -hmm. that what they're going through now and how they're coping with stress now is tied back to the flooding. Um, so it's interesting when, when clients come in and we work with them and kind of walk through how they've gotten to where they're at, very often now f the flooding issues, the economic issues are popping up as, as right. a cause. I lost my job or I lost my home because mm -hmm. of the flood and an or order to deal. my relatives all moved in with me because ah, they lost yeah. their home or just some, some a wide range of situations that can all be tied back to the stress from that time. Oh, that, that completely makes sense yeah. that that would trigger, trigger relapse. Mm -hmm. So, so somebody who is seeking services, how do they, they go about 
receiving services um, related to this grant? Sure. Um, you're going to see a, a bunch of things in the media. Um, we are, have promotions um, and we're tied with Iowa Department of Public Health's media campaign and we're using some of this funding to help promote their campaign and then tie it to, to our local services available. So people will see things, um, online banner ads, movie theater ads, billboards, just more um, noticed in the community and that information will include an 800 number and Mecca's website. Um, the 800 number goes directly to IDPH and then they actually will turn around and funnel that back to Mecca. Okay. Um, so for folks, there's no wrong way to do it. If people would like to call the 800 number, they will get to their local provider. If they'd like to call Mecca directly, you can pick up the phone and dial 319-351-HELP H-E-L-P, it's an easy way to remember that. Or you can visit our website at MeccaServices.com. On our website, there's a picture of a little house with a life preserver around it, a little icon. Um, and it says, you know, are you stressed, feeling stressed from the flood or the economy? Please click here. And on our website, there's additional information on services available. There's a link to a whole page of other um, sort of um, recovery related resources and it tells you how to talk with one of our counselors or prevention staff, how to set up an appointment, how to help someone, that sort of thing. It's all there on our website. So the actual funds from the grant, mm -hmm. is that funding some training for your staff to deal with a specific issue? Yes, yes it is. The, the treatment portion of the funding is going for a couple things. One is to specifically train our staff on how to identify um, flood related issues and obviously not just flood but any sort of traumatic issue mm -hmm. and how to deal with that with clients so when they're looking at how can I get to be clean and sober from drugs and alcohol they're making sure they're taking into account everything that's impacted their decisions to get to that point so there's additional training for our staff um, we're also doing some special projects during the flooding one of our buildings um, one of our Mecca buildings was flooded and we did have to move our clients to our Des Moines location. And so one of the things we're doing is following up with those clients who were here at that time just to see how they're doing in their recovery, if they're having any sort of post-traumatic issues with what they experienced during that time and so forth. Wow, so your, your, your facility was affected. Yes, so, uh, there I'm was sure a everyone... boat outside my window. Oh, yeah. my, <laughs> oh my gosh. So, so, so yeah, you can, your staff can definitely identify mm -hmm. with the stressors of flooding. Yeah, and we're thinking too, you know, the training for our staff is to benefit our clients first and foremost, but it also will be helpful just for staff to staff who may still be dealing with issues themselves. So we want to take care of our clients, but also take care of our employees as well. So um, someone that's interested in receiving help through MECA mm -hmm. and um, perhaps perhaps it's just in general they need help with substance abuse or maybe it is due to flood-related stressors, mm -hmm. um, they can contact MECA. I know the question that people are going to ask is, is there, an ex is there a cost to that sure, person? Sure, sure, that's a natural question. Mm -hmm. and, and there is a cost to our services like any other healthcare service. Mm -hmm. um, we do work really hard to make sure that the costs are not a barrier for mm -hmm. folks, so we offer a lot of options. Um, most insurances are accepted if folks have insurance. We offer a sliding fee scale for people based solely on their income, so we take a look at their situation, what they're able to pay, and we're trying to be kind of innovative um, and, and proactive with that, offering different things like people being able to pay online or set up real minimum monthly payments. We don't want the main stress to be the financial cost of treatment for folks. We want people to seek treatment, get in, get the help they need, and not have that be something that you know is in the back of their mind. So we really work with our clients on different options as far as payment, and we hope that that doesn't keep anyone from seeking the help they need. Great, thank you. Thanks so much for being here today. Nice to be here. If you'd like to learn more about MECA services, please visit MeccaServices.com or call 319-351-4357 for more information. That's it for today's Community Voice Short. If you'd like to view this program or our other programs, please visit CityChannel4.com where you can view a program guide and watch shows on demand. Thanks so much for watching this Community Voice Short. <music>
I just wanna say the years. 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 I